Welcome back to my channel, fellow gardeners. Now, today I want to talk about the red hot poker plant. Now, why I'm talking about it is that I do have it here and it's at the end of the blooming season. And what I really did notice when I was in Britain is that everybody loves this plant and they do have it in their gardens. And so I would thought to myself, why don't I tell people how to propagate it? So if you do have it in your garden, you too can have many, many plants in your garden. Now, as you see here, as I said, this is the stem and the flower is actually gone. But in the end is once we do propagate it and scatter it, they will eventually shoot up. So welcome back. My name is Alice and I'm the Red Soul Gardener. Let's learn about this plant. I'm crazy about this plant. Now, the thing about the red hot poker plant is it's all about the stem that shoots up and has this dramatic flower in all different types of hues because I have the orange one with a bit of yellow, but you can actually get the flower in yellow or lime yellow and different shapes. And that's what makes this plant so spectacular. There's over 60 different species of the red hot poker plant. And the plant actually originates in South Africa. Now, the thing about the plant is that it's all about the stem, the flower stem, which actually, as it comes up, you get this conical shaped flower that is great for pollinators, birds, and other sort of insects. But the beautiful thing about it, it is so spectacular. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did see people in England that had these poker, red hot poker plants. And that's why I decided, let me come and uproot mine because it has all these clusters. And also by uprooting it, you actually, by separating it, you regenerate the plant. So I thought, let's just do that. The thing about these plants is that once they are stable, you know, uh, once they are in your garden, they will flower from July right up until fall. And some do actually continue flowering until December. Just for your information, they do have different names for this plant. There is the African flame flower because of the actual flower. And they do call it also the torch lily though it's not actually a lily, but those are the names when you do go into the garden centre, you could actually use those. Let's look at the requirement of this plant, is that what sort of sun requirements do you need? The poker plant is that what it does like is full sun. The more sun you get, the more blooms you'll get, and they really, really do well in full sun. Now, what sort of soil do you get? Now, the thing about the poker is that, first of all, they have risins, which is, again, it is, um, they do, with risins, you do need to have a well-drained soil. If you don't, is that you will get root rot. So, once again, if you do have clay soil, do add a bit more compost so you can get a better drainage. Once the plant is settled, as I mentioned earlier, it will bloom right until the fall. Now, for pop propagation purposes, I just thought, let's just dig out this plant because I do need to, re to replant it elsewhere as the clump is getting quite full. Let's look at the root structure so that you too can understand how it makes its babies. So what I did is that I did uproot them and this is all the foliage. And this morning I was running a hose through it but I found so many slugs, but I'm not scared of slugs. So now what I'm going to do simply so that we can actually look at the plant properly is I'm just going to nip it down. I'm going to cut it up to this area here. I'm going to do the same here. So I'll just <laughs> put it here 
get it straightened out a bit, ishish, and just nip it about here. They do get a lot of foliage and um, also I've had it for a long time and, um, and it really does need to be separated and repotted or, or replanted. So as I nip here, I'll just get rid of that. And You do get a lot of slugs that love to hide in here, but they're not a problem. Okay, we're almost there. Get rid of that. I think it's interesting always to look at your plant. If you want to understand the rooting, then it's easier to do a propagation. So now when you do look at this red hot poker plant, is it does have a rhizome and that's the rhizome here. And what happens is when you do have the babies, they actually shoot from the mother plant and form these sort of babies. And that is what you're going to separate it. You're going to actually divide it like this. Now, I think this one is far more interesting because it has more babies on it. And then you can actually come and see, you can actually see where the babies are formed. So now when we look at this plant here is you'll see so this is like the mother stem and where the babies come from is from the rhizome and they start to shoot up. So in the end if I had left this in the soil I would have had so many clusters of babies happening on the side and uh, I think in the end you end up with a lot of flowers. So now because it is quite tight um, and I want to actually, here we go. So if I'm going to separate it, you may need a knife because sometimes it does get tough, but you just simply cut it like that just separated and each bit is your new baby and that's where you're going to get your lovely lovely red hot poker flower from so I'm going to separate this one too and I must make sure that I do get a rising on it so I'm just gonna get this to assist me it's a bit tough here we go so all I'm going to do is split it there we go. So out of those two plants, I've already got one, two, three. And if I separate this one, four and five. So once you've separated your plant, which is also, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, it's always good to separate your plant either in spring or in fall. And in this case is that in fall, this is what you do if you want to propagate your plant. However, is that what happens is that if your plant, if you do not want to separate it or propagate it, is for overwinter storage, is that if you're not living in an uh, area where you do get freezing temperature, what I would actually do is not cut it down. I would actually allow, once it stopped blooming and all that multitude, lengthy foliage is there, just let it die down because in the end, as it dies down, it will cover 
your rhizome, your plant, and actually create an insulation, which is great for the overwinter protection. And then in spring, I would actually check it out, clean it up, mulch around your plant, and wait for the babies to start shooting up. Now, what I'm going to do here, because I have dug a hole at the back, because I was just thinking with my uh, sitting arrangement at the back of my garden, is I would like to have more poker trees as a stunning showcase. So as we're having lunch, everyone can see these lovely red hot poker uh, flowers. So what I'm going to do is actually um, plant two and then with these ones, what I'm going to do with them is actually just keep them in here while I figure out what I want to do with them. So all I'm going to do is just actually grow it in here, just like that. And I will keep it in my greenhouse, just putting it in the soil and covering like that. And also with this one, I will also place it in here because I don't have room at the moment in my garden. I haven't figured it out where I can place them. Just get rid of some of that rooting. And as it as it settles in here, I can decide where I want to put the rest of my poker plant. What I will do is once it's planted, like in this case, is I'm going to just give it water. And then once I see the rooting structure is getting more solid and it's settled, is I will start giving it less water because they are quite durable. So let me place these in the garden. And as it's raining, I think I do need assistance. But uh, once they're established, we can follow it up on Instagram. So thank you, fellow gardeners. Now that I've planted my hot poker plant, and actually what I've done is I've cho chosen a different location for the plant where I can actually look at it. So I'd like to thank you for uh, watching this channel. I'd, um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Press the notification button so you'll always be notified. We do actually upload every Thursday, so do be on the lookout for that. We're on Instagram. I post a lot of lovely pictures there and my dogs. And don't forget that we are on Facebook. Do leave your comment, which gives me a lot of encouragement. So I always do look forward to that. And thank you so much. Do look after your hot poker. And especially over winter, you know exactly what to do now. And just make sure that you do protect them so that in the spring and when it does start flowering, that you get this beautiful hues of different colors on your flower stem. So thank you very much and have a lovely, lovely day.